Hmm. Mm -hmm. Features of everyday products that you didn't know the use of. A continuation. This edition will actually blow your mind. So some lollipops actually have a hole on their stick. You don't even have to be a lollipop connoisseur to know that you've always been curious. What is that hole? Well, today I'm going to explain all of these and more. Before we begin, don't forget, follow me on the socials if you don't already. This article is going to be in the description. Check it out for yourself. But the reason is the stick is hollow with a hole. So if kids accidentally swallow the stick, they won't choke and completely lose all respiration. They will still be able to breathe so they can spit it back out. Apparently, the hole is also to hold it in place because if it wasn't for the hole, it would fall right back out. Sugar paste is added through the hole to keep it sticky. <laughs> and there you have it. That is why lollipop sticks are hollow with a hole. Learn something new. This is reaction time. The place to get educated. Tall Fishman is your teacher. Thank you, everyone. So there is the little metal plate, you know, as you staple something, it's right there. You can actually pop it off and rotate it, as you can see here. So you can either have a tight hold or a loose hold. Here is a loose hold example. Once you rotate that metal plate, this loose hold is designed so you can easily remove it later. I bet you didn't know that. Huh? Do I have one? Let me, let me check. One eternity later. Ooh, ooh. I have this right here. Can you guys see that? I can actually pop it up and rotate it. Oh, look at that. No way. So this is the loose hold. Let's pop it right back up and go back to how it was. Boom! So I'm actually really surprised my stapler even had that feature. But we're gonna go next. What is next? So this is for people who wear makeup. There are certain numbers that you will see on the back of your product. For example, 6M, 12M, or 24M. Maybe it's even for my hair product because I use hair product. No camera tricks were used in this commercial. Just BioLink VCO 5-Minute Hot Oil for intense moisture. And these actually represent the life of the product. So automatically I'm assuming six months, 12 months or 24 months, two years after you open them. So this is an example, it says 12M. That means you have 12 months to use a face cream before it goes bad or before you have to replace it. So come on, hurry up and use it. Let me see, let me see if I have. Okay, so I actually do have it right here. It says 12M. Highly doubt you're gonna be able to see that. It says 12M right here. Just zoom in. Really, really, really close. Okay, see, it's like pixels. So that means this is good for 12 months. But like, in reality, it's only good for like six months. They're lying. You're There is a hole on top of a pen cap. So I have almost the exact same pen except it's red. Yes, I see this hole right here. Do you guys see that? I see you. <laughs> Some people are worried that it's going to dry out the pen, but that is not going to happen at all. The small hole lowers the risk of suffocation if you accidentally swallow it. Usually this is for small children. It's like safety hazard precautions. Just in case, then there's still somewhat of a hole to breathe through. I mean, I don't think you'd survive that, but there you have it. If you're like me, you're probably curious at one point, what is that strip of black dots? Most cars have them on their windows. What does it do? For some reason, I thought it was like for shade, but I was like then thinking to myself, this is when I was seven. This is the tall fishman when he was seven years old. He thought it was to give you a little bit of shade so you can kind of move next to it. No, I just, no. First of all, it's called a frit. Definition, mm-hmm, right there. There are two purposes, an etched surface, so it has something to grip on. The adhesive can stick on it because of that surface that's not completely smooth. And it also protects the adhesive from UV light. That's right, from the sun. UV light from the sun that can ruin adhesive. So it covers adhesive, gives it some grip and protects it. And apparently the dots are completely useless. They're just there to make it look cool. 100%, that's actually the reason. Wow. The pointy bit on a cap, on that cap right there, you know, like creams, actually has a purpose. I already know it because I've used it before. After I saw one of these life hacks type videos, I used it, you use the cap, flip it around, stick it in, and it's supposed to open the tube for you. Like the instruction said, unscrew lid, turn it around, and pierce the tube. So this little thing, you're just gonna stick it in there. Just stick it. So now this little tube right here has been opened. That's like this little foil that covers the tube. You guys know what I'm talking about? So who knows what this extra little pocket in your jeans are for? Ever wonder why there's a tiny pocket inside the front right pocket of your jeans? What's with that pocket? What purpose does it serve? Well, they're actually from the first time that jeans were invented. Back in the day, they said it was back from the day of the Wild West. No, but see these jeans? They have a purpose. That little pocket, we're gonna explain it right now. It's called the fifth pocket. And it was a place where cowboys kept their pocket watches. Yeah, they specifically made a pocket designed just for a pocket watch. That's almost like making a pocket designed for a cell phone. People don't really have pocket watches, but like almost everyone has a cell phone. Back in the day, it was equivalent. Everyone had a pocket watch. So 
there you have it. You need to know the time. But that's not all. What about the studs? They look like... I always thought they were just to hold it in place. I'm pretty sure that that's what it is. But there's also the sewing. You see the sewing? So why would you need those studs? Okay, so they're there to strengthen and help prevent wear and tear. Just like what I actually thought it was. There you have it. Tube products have little blocks of color. Yeah, I've noticed that. But why? Well, these are actually for production. Known as eye marks. Optical sensors that detect color. Recognize exactly where a package needs to be cut. Folded or pressed. Whatever it is that needs to do. Okay, guys. Let's go back. It's not the color. It's actually just the shape. The color doesn't even matter, apparently. Weird. And why do they have different colors? It just needs to be dark for the sensors to see it. So it needs to have that contrast between white. So any of these colors, red, blue, and black, all work out. What is this slotted thing on a backpack for? Like, why do they have it? Well, it's an outdated design. Used to be called a lash tab, specifically to attach. Whatever you'd like is something you can just put through. It's like... Put a belt in there, now you have a belt. Hikers could put a sleeping roll on there, attach it. And originally back in the day, it was actually designed to carry stuff like axes for cutting down trees, building. That's exactly what it was used for. Not anymore. I'm pretty sure you're just gonna put like, like your phone there with like a case that goes through or like a belt. Yeah. Why do caps have that little ring inside? Why do caps have this little plastic disc inside? Well, it's actually very simple. The discs are used as seals. If not, bottles would actually leak or all carbonation would disappear. Why does Heinz have 57, number 57, on their bottle? Well, apparently, Heinz claims that this is a spot where if you tap it or hit it slightly, it's a special spot where all the ketchup would come out of that glass bottle. Because, you know, glass balls, you always have to do this and nothing comes out. Wow, that, okay. Should I take a break? Is that too much? Well, now you just tap it a little bit. As you're trying to pour the ketchup, tap it on 57. See what happens. I bet you guys are going to try it. But, like, not that many people own glass ketchup bottles. You're supposed to tap it with your palm. No more banging aloud. A McDonald's lid has more than one use. It's also used as a coaster. And almost all of them fit perfectly to hold in place and prevent condensation on your tables. Because that can get annoying. It ruined my table here. It ruined my table when people put cups on there. Why is there an arrow? That little sideways triangle like an arrow next to the gas. I feel like I can just explain it myself. I don't even need to read the explanation. It just means it goes to the right. And the more, the more right the meter is, the more full it is. I mean, obviously, that's self-explanatory. Okay, but that's not the reason. I got wrong of course the more right the meter is the more full it is the arrow points to which side of your car you have your gas cap usually older cars don't have the arrows but if your car has this now you always remember where your gas cap is but i feel like most people just remember by themselves who needs this why is one side bumpy and the other isn't the groove side is actually meant to point downwards to give you more of a hold you know like when something is not as smooth like we discussed before what are these ridges in between the treads well they are markings to let you know whether a tire is worn out or not so when your tread gets to that same level as that little pop as that little tab that means it's time to replace your tire that's actually smart and now real quick let's go why do clothes come with an extra little piece of fabric to test on different detergents why do rulers have holes for hanging up the ruler who the hell hangs up i don't know raise bumps on keyboard if you tie properly it's to know exactly where to place your fingers two holes on chucks ventilation so moisture doesn't build up and you can also lace your shoes even tighter if you want to go that far down but i don't, would not do that extra hole in your shoes to keep them tighter this little loop in the back of a t-shirt is used to hang it up and it prevents wrinkling see this right here especially when you've run out of hangers the blue side of an eraser is used to erase smudges that's left over from using the pink side smart are pink and blue opposite colors that's probably why the little hole beside the iphone camera is actually just a microphone if you never knew that you can talk to it now just i don't recommend it because your breath is gonna get all over the camera and bog it don't do that hope you enjoyed it check out all these things you never knew the purpose of in the description it's gonna be linked down below but that is gonna wrap it up hope i'll see you guys soon more episodes of reaction time until then have a good one and peace out give me a chance to make it right we don't need answers to survive just let us keep on with the black guys with the black
with a 